Hello and welcome to this video lecture on RSS. So in this video lecture, we shall be looking at the basics of RSS. What is RSS technology as in XML? And how do we use RSS technology and its advantages? So these are the learning outcomes for today's video lecture. We shall learn the basics of RSS and use and manage RSS reader that is feedly.com a free available and usable RSS reader to subscribe to various RSS feeds. So these are the contents of today's video lecture introduction to syndication and RSS technology RSS architecture how is the technology working and its nature then a reader configuration and getting updates from feeds i shall be showing you a live demonstration as of as of how to subscribe to rss feeds and uh, concluding with the references and acknowledgements so basically what is rss rss stands for really simple syndication so you might have come across this symbol uh, across uh, while you might be browsing through many internet sites so this uh, uh, symbol indicates uh, the technology of rss or it also stands for a rich site summary so syndication basically means gathering of Im information for from various sites of uh, individuals interest so a particular individual might be interested in say for example sports or sports news updates so uh, in sports he might be uh, only specifically interested in say for example soccer news so rss is a technology to deliver real time updates on newer information available to the user so any time a website updates uh, itself or the website is updated with a newer content and the user is interested in that particular content so the rss feed will uh, get updated and the user will be able to see that update on its screen because of the rss so rss is this updation mechanism which updates which gets updated and uh, keeps the user updated with the current or real time updates so the choice of the topics that the user needs to be updated are user defined the user can define so he does not need to get all the news say for example he has, he has subscribed to some news if he wants a particular news so he does not need to go through all the news but he can just subscribe to that particular rss feed and then he will get the particular news from the particular channel about a particular sport that he might be needing or uh, a, a news about a particular event that happened say for example a particular catastrophe that has occurred in some area of some country or a continent so he can just subscribe to that particular news and get its updates whenever a update is made on a particular website so there are two parts of this rss technology one is the rss feeder and an rss reader so the website that the user wants to keep keep on checking or uh, ha had to earlier keep on checking uh, develops uh, or has this rss feeder and the user side has the rss reader so the rss feeder is a web feed that allows to access contents and updates that is at the website uh, uh, side of the website and the next is the rss reader also known as the aggregator which reads all the real time updates only from the website that the user prefers to and the current rss version is 2.0 so this was basic introduction to rss technology so how does this rss work <clears throat> every website that the user is interested um, uh, has an rss xml file which gets updated and it is stored on the web server so these are the websites there are n number of websites that the user might be interested in 
and uh, these are the website which the user desires the updates from it might be news channels it might be podcasts and so on so <clears throat> these xml files are regularly updated as any update happens at the site website and as these uh, xml files are updated the reader or the aggregator on the side of the user is check <coughs> checks for the real time updates like breaking news and so on and any time an update happens it uh, the aggregator immediately reads it and the uh, information is updated on the web browser that is the web page or the blogger wherever the user is using the aggregator so basically the aggregator gets updated and the user who is interested in the news who is interested in the latest updates is gets updated so the user side side is updated through the xml file which is updated at the website so this is a basic description a short description of how rss ac technology actually works this is an example of the uh, rss file <coughs> basically rss is an uh, rss file is an xml file so we start with the xml um, 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 definition uh, showing that this is an xml file and then tag uh, it with an rss tag and its version 2.0 showing that this is an rss file and these <coughs> tags excuse me that you see here are the predefined tags and they are uh, mandatory tags which go in the rss uh, file there are also some tags which are not mandatory like publication date and so on but we shall look at the mandatory um, mandatory tags so the title link and the description are the tags that come here so the channel is the channel from where we have subscribed the site the title states for the title of the uh, channel and the site the link is the link url where we can find the website the description is a short description about the same about what news or what particular updates is the uh, link giving us and so on and it all and it goes on just like that so title link and description are the tags which are defined when in an rss uh, file and then at the end we close with the channel tag which we had begun with and uh, concluding with an rss uh, tag i shall not describe all uh, this file completely here but i shall take it in another video lecture so this is a reflective spot which of the following provide rss reader services so pause the video and answer this question you are free to use the internet to answer to go across and answer this question so if you have gone through and browse the internet to search that which of the following provides the in, um, reader services if you have carefully seen all the four <coughs> services are online services which provide for aggregator services so feedly feed reader flow reader and blog lovin are all four services which provide reader services rss reader services so i shall quickly show you how we can configure and uh, subscribe for rss feeds on feedly.com for getting real time updates from different website so firstly you need to log log in to feedly.com you log in to that website and create <coughs> you can create your account you can also log in through your google account if you have one i am going to log in with my google account to show you how an aggregator works at your site at your site excuse me so <clears throat> these are my feeds i have created a feed i want uh, the news to be updated at my site so these are the feeds and my news is the name of my feed so all these uh, uh, news that i am able to see here are from different sites one is from bbc news the other is from india news 
the other is from india tv and so on so now i'm going to uh, add some more content i want to see some sports news at my site so i'm going to add on click content and <clears throat> i'm going to search for say for example sky sports so sky sports news is available here and uh, as you see uh, if you are interested if you are a manu fan you can um, uh, subscribe for the manu um, uh, feeds if you are an arsenal fan you can do so but i'm just going to click on sky sports news and i'm going to follow it so it will ask me that uh, should it um, um, add it to my news or a new feed so i'm going to click on new feed and i'm going to uh, add it as sports news so sports news will be a different feed will which will give me just sports news and so on so in this feed i shall only go through the sports news i i, I shall not have some different news here but i will follow only sports news here similarly say for example if i am also interested in bbc sports football so i can just click there and i if i click on follow it will ask me the feed that i want to add bbc sport football to and i will click on sports news and so on so it will start um <clears throat> getting the updates from this website as well i do i need not to go to that particular site to look at the uh, uh, news but i can just uh, see it on my particular uh, page single page so uh, there is this website times of india that i have logged into this is the url of that rss feeds times of india dot india times dot com slash rss dot cms where i get all the rss that i want to from top stories to most recent stories india world and so on say for example sports so i want these sports also from india times to be included on my aggregator site so i'm going to right click here and copy the link address and i am going to also add content and i am going to paste the link here and it will show me that this is the feed sports news cricket news latest updates on tennis football and so on and i am going to select it and i'm going to follow it and which will be added to my sports news feed and add so right now it is showing me that i am following the sports news from india times and once i go to sports news if you see carefully so this is the news that has been added from indiatimes.com so whichever website you are interested in you can add the rss feed from that particular website and that update on that side will be immediately reflected on your website so this is how you use feedly.com rss reader to read the updates from all the sites of interest so coming back to our this was the configuration and getting updates from feedly.com so these are the references and acknowledgments that i have used for today's video lecture thank you